everyone. Uh, my name is Zach Kirshen. I'm the director of Convivo Music. Uh, many of you probably know us, and some of you probably know New Thread Quartet, which I'm also a member of. <laughs> uh, Convivo Music is a nonprofit in Jersey City. We do free chamber music concerts throughout the year, about five events a year. Um, this year we have a bunch of great concerts, including one more here next month with Raha Duo. Uh, which is actually going to be a trio for that concert. They've invited a French hornist. That's uh, our founder, Amelia Hollandray, is on viola and piano and French horn um, with uh, my Carthur genius, Arthur composer, Matthew Ocon, world premiere piece. Uh, it's going to be a really cool concert. It should be great. Uh, we're also, later this year, we're doing a uh, uh, awesome opera project funded by a history grant where we're going to be doing uh, performances in five locations in Jersey City with a short 20-minute opera set in the history of that location. So one vignette will be in Paul's Hook with George Washington talking about the Battle of Paul's Hook that just happened, uh, that kind of thing. And it'll be one day traveling throughout the day. Um, I'm sure you'll hear plenty more from us about it, uh, but it should be really cool. Um, tonight's concert is near and dear to me. Uh, We've named the concert Avalanche Lily, uh, featuring Amy Beth Kirsten's piece um, at the second half of the concert. Uh, Amy and I went to school in Peabody, and we've known each other for a long time and worked together many times, so it's really exciting to me to be working on that piece and, and playing it today, and we're going to record it tomorrow. And also, New Track Quartet is a group I've played with a ton, and we've been all around doing residencies at UVA and Berkeley and playing at Carnegie and all sorts of things. Uh, it's been really awesome. Um, we are also very excited to announce today that Jonathan Holton Cohen is joining us on the soprano chair. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Jonathan is a faculty member at UMass Amherst, incredible saxophonist who's been subbing with us on and off for a year and a half while we look for a fourth member. And uh, we're happy to make it official today. We even took some photos. <laughs> so it's for real. Um, let's see, we're going to start today's concert with a uh, piece by Emily Co. Emily is another Peabody graduate, actually, at uh, Peabody Conservatory, where I went to school. And she reached out to us a little while back about making a series of recordings for an album she just released. And this is one of the pieces on the album. The album is called Word Plays. And we recorded a homonym, heteronym, and cryptonym, all uh, word phrases. Um, so homonym is uh, two or more words that are spelled and pronounced similarly but have different meanings. And throughout the piece, there's these phrases that happen in different ways in the instruments, which is really interesting. Um, Emily also uses uh, a lot of microtonality. So in um, classical music, you would have 12 pitches in one octave. Um, Maybe Aaron, could you play like a chromatic scale? We could hear 12 pitches. And then in Amy's piece, she's introduced more pitches than that. So pitches in between pitches. Um, they call them chorus steps. Yeah. <laughs> so you will hear uh, plenty of those sounds in this piece.
change kind of, we're all gonna switch onto alto saxophones for the second piece here. And then, uh, you know, we dig into it, and it's really awesome. <laughs> uh, we had the pleasure of going up to SUNY Purchase and, and playing it there, which is really great. And uh, Jonathan is now a student at Columbia, doing an MFA, which is fantastic. Um, one of you want to talk about this? One of you talk about this? Well, uh, this piece features a lot of multiphonics. So uh, when we press certain standard and what we normally play to just achieve one note.
talking a lot about that project. He sort of offhand said, I'll, I'll send you some music that I've been looking at making. This was like a year ago, maybe. And uh, one of them was this piece, which is called Quarantingo and inspired by Tango Rhythms. Um, I thought it was very cool, obviously timely. <laughs> uh, Alon wrote some nice program notes. He's here today, along with John Street. And um, it's got uh, six movements. Um, oh, some of them go where is it showing? No. You'll, you'll hear the different styles. Each movement is very unique and different. Um, one of them is actually kind of similar to what we just played, in that it's all multiphonics. Um, the first movement has these improvisatory phrases that we're playing back and forth. Other movements have certain tangos, styles, or rhythms. And um, he also makes use of some of the microphones that we played earlier. And what else? Slap tongue? Did we want to demonstrate a slap tongue? No? Yeah, very percussive effect. But I broke many reeds learning. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's the some of the sound that you'll hear in this piece. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
a bunch of times on the piece and she was going to be here today, we're recording it tomorrow. I got a text message from her like four hours ago that said, someone I'm close with tested positive. I'm not going to come down, obviously. <laughs> but she has sent a replacement. Calvin Hitchcock is an excellent local composer who's worked with Amy and
and uh, she said he could definitely say what she would say here. <laughs> Welcome, Calvin. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, my name is Calvin Hitchcock. I'm a composer based here in Jersey City. Um, and yeah, Amy just asked me to get up and say a couple words about uh, her to just kind of represent her. She said she was really, really sorry she wasn't able to be here today. Um, but yeah, I, I've known Amy for a couple of years now. Um, I've worked as an assistant on multiple projects of hers. Um, and I'm really lucky to be able to call her a mentor and friend. Um, and I, I just want to say that Amy is one of the most sensitive and holistic artists that I, that I know of. Um, she's probably one of my favorite living composers, um, and I find her work to be deeply inspiring. Um, and yeah, she, she wanted to say um, how much she loves the New Thread Quartet and how much uh, she, how, how deeply personal this piece is for her. And there are some notes in your program uh, that I would encourage you to check out. Um, without further ado, this is Avalanche Lily and the love from Amy. <laughs> so um, you'll see in the program notes, Amy got some of the concepts from this piece from a trip to Wyoming, <clears throat> and the, the movements have these names after some flowers and different natural uh, phenomenon. The first one, sax saxophrasia, is, is fun because it's almost like saxophone. <laughs> Um, but if I recall correctly, that's a, a flower that um, is also like the, tr the translation of the word is stone breaker, uh, a plant that's known for like having roots that can grow into a stone and, and crack it. And it's like, uh, she writes them, it should be like a macabre street band. It's a very groovy kind of movement. Um, the second movement, Tree Monks, I have on my notes written, big trees as creatures. Uh, that one's very like uh, some kind of yeah, some kind of mystical thing is being built between the four of us. It's uh, a fun movement to play because she has these like really free kind of notations and we mush around these notes and listen to each other. Um, that one goes right into the third movement, Pitsusua. I might be saying that right. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> that one is, uh, I have written down in that description, a magical stag breaking apart into small pieces. <laughs> uh, I think that's a fun description. Amy has these great phrases she gives us. Um, toward the Rubicon, I think she mentioned looking up into the stars in the night sky and just feeling like lost in the infinity. And then the last movement, Marcescence, is um, a characteristic of some trees where they don't drop their leaves, they hang on to it to have the nutrients to survive into the spring. And it's kind of this like, it's like struggle and fight to get into this other musical section. Yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to <laughs> Thank you. 
watching at home. I <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll encourage you, there's in the second page or the back page of the front of your program, there's a survey that you can fill out for JC Fridays. It helps them, you know, get grant money and do all great things in Jersey City. So if you could scan that cue card and fill it out, or at the table we have some paper ones. And we're a nonprofit who's funded by grants and donations for people like you. So if you are motivated, please give a donation today. There's a link on the back from the QR code. A link on the YouTube. I see all of you over there still. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, please come up, help, say hi, and let us know what you thought. I'd love to hear from you. Cool. Nice to see you. Thank you.